Hi. Well, I guess this is going to be different. I'm not going to be singing in this one. But, this has just been on my mind this past day, and it kind of just needs to be said. And I couldn't put it into words and type it and write it out because it, it, it really bothers me. And I found out, okay, so... Before I had a problem, a, like a personal problem and something that I don't usually share with people, but I guess I kind of am now, and it's, it's something that people judge you for. Like, they judge you as a bad person, a person who has, who's like all messed up in the head and stuff like that, and so... I went, I was with a friend over the 4th of July and I went out to the lake with her and we met other people, like I knew, I knew the people but like I wasn't like best friends with them, but me and I went with my friend and another family was there and I was kind of friends with her but I didn't really know her family. We went to like preschool together or whatever but anyways what happened was that I had some scars on my side and if you kind of catch my drift you can figure that out on your own because that's a whole nother story and it's a personal story and I don't want to share it but anyways so I had I had I was I, d I didn't want to take off my shirt for that reason so they were down on my side and I absolutely did not want to take off my shirt for that but I ended up anyways because it was really hot and I finally said you know what, people can judge me. They can judge me on my past and things that I've done. And I'm not going to say that I did the right thing and I made the right choices. But you know, they're the choices that made me who I am today. And they've affected my life and I feel I'm a lot better now. I'm, I'm not doing anything. It's been over a month. So, yay for me. Um, and... And I went swimming, and then when we were walking up, I was getting looks. Not just from the people that we were with, but from, like, everybody who, like, saw. And it kind of hurt, and I knew, and I told my friend, I was like, I was like, I don't want to be here anymore. I kind of want to go home, because I wasn't, I, I didn't, like, I, I'm not used to being judged like that. I'm, I'm the type of person who just is quiet. And, well, most of the time, I guess. I'm kind of quiet until you, like, really get to know me. And when I'm around situations like that, I'm not a very open person. And so then what happened was that... So we were up there and talking and just, like, hanging out, whatever. We left. Day was over. End of it. And recently, I was hanging out with my friend again. And she told me... She showed me a message that this girl, her mom, who saw my scars, she told her mom. So this girl's mom, who I know, told my friend's mom that she did not want her daughter to be friends with people who cut themselves, which is kind of ridiculous because I think, well, they claim they have, they have the strong Christian faith, and her mom, okay, I'm in high school, this girl's in high school, we're all in high school, okay, leave it at that, and so, her mom's like, basically dictating who her friends can be, first of all, and then also, that the that she said that in a text to my friend's mom, out of the blue, this wasn't like, it didn't even come up, and my friend's mom already knows, like, I've been open, like, I'm open about it if you ask me, but I'm not the type of person to go out and tell the whole world. I mean, the first time I did that was at a camp a couple, about a month ago, and those are people. Those are and those are the people I trust more than anything in the whole entire world. So it was a completely different story then. But just that this this lady had the nerve to do that and to go and say she had this strong Christian faith and. If you ask me to have a strong Christian faith, you don't judge people like that. You don't, no, you, you don't, like, go off and just judge person, judge a person by one thing like that. 
and I know I'm going to sound hypocritical when I say this because I do judge people also, and I try not to. I've been working on it. Everybody judges. It's a human thing. And But to judge someone like that, and she basically said she doesn't want me to be friends with this girl. And so, you know what? I'm just going to be like, fine. I'll tell her. I was like, I'm sorry, but we can't be friends because your mom thinks I'm a bad person because I had a rough past, and she doesn't know anything about me. It was real. I just think it's ridiculous. I mean, who can, who are you to judge? I mean, you're not perfect. You're condemning me. I mean, you need to look at your own family. You're you're condemning your own daughter to be this perfect girl and to be like her older sister and to have a lot of friends and she's not the most social person. So you can't expect her to have a lot of friends. But the fact that you have the guts to go judge somebody like that, that is very hurtful, and that is not right. You don't know anything. You don't know, you don't even know the truth. You don't even know if that was really what it was. I mean, it could have been from some, like, accident or something, but no, you just went ahead and you judged me for that. And you're condemning me and who I am when you don't even know who I am. And I am a very strong, confident person most of the time. I can be shy and nervous and quiet, like everybody else. Kind of weird like that. <laughs> but, I mean, you can, you'll can you judge people on their music taste. Like, you know what? I love the band Falling in Reverse. And One Direction, obviously. But, I love the band Falling in Reverse. And you would judge me as a bad person because they aren't perfect Christian music singers. They swear in their songs. They sing about real crap in life. They their songs are real, not like this fake crap. Like, I mean, yes, I do like Christian singers. I do like enjoy that music. I enjoy a lot of music. But you're going to judge me because of one band I listen to and because they like to swear in their songs. Okay, I'm sorry, but in today's society, swearing is a common thing. I've heard little first graders not saying that is that it is right. Do not get me wrong. It is not right. I don't want to be hearing first graders dropping the F-bombs and saying sugar honey iced tea in public and flipping people off I mean that's just ridiculous I mean what that's a rant for another day but I mean like judging people like that it's like you get you're you're judging people you're you're judging a book by its cover basically I mean you don't know anything you don't know what's happened I mean it's just rude and it is not the right thing to do, especially if you claim to have this strong Christian faith and to have and like to be like that and you judge people for that. I mean, I have a faith. I have I'd like to think I have a somewhat strong faith in connection. I mean, I'm on the cross. But I mean I don't know, I'm just kinda going on here, but it's like it's it's really hurtful. I mean you if like I mean, you could ask my friend, and I was just beyond ticked off. I mean, I was just like, I just sat there. I couldn't even talk. I was just like, no. And you know what? I was I was a judgmental person then because I said I used words and names that I could, I, I mean, it's